Yes, it had a major impact. The, the reason that I'm the mayor of Nagasaki, uh, the reason I am working so hard to eliminate nuclear weapons is because I've heard so many stories from survivors, and I, I'm, I know the story. And the survivors, you know, there are a lot of survivors who don't talk. They refuse to talk at all because if you talk about what happened to you, you have to relive it. You have to remember it. And people don't want to do that. The ones who do talk about the worst experience of their life are doing it because they believe they need to do it for the world. It's not for themselves. They're doing it to make, give a message to the world. I felt that very strongly as I was growing up. Uh, we are cities, and we, it, it will require countries to eliminate nuclear weapons. But our idea is that we can make these this solidarity among cities. The cities are getting together, and we are all mayors who have decided we are trying to protect our citizens from nuclear weapons and from war. What we want to do is make connections with each other. We make connections among our citizens. We make connections with NGOs, and we make connections with the countries who are on our side, and we make connections at the UN. All of us rise up and envelop the nuclear weapon states. I think one of our main achievements is that already we have over 5,200 mayors who are involved in this project. You know, we have this solidarity among ourselves and we continue to grow and we are putting the pressure on to countries and I believe that this is, you know, the main thing that we have done so far and we're going to use this as a base for developing strategy as we go along. The, I think it's a very important first step toward the elimination of nuclear weapons. Just the fact of the CTB implants in human consciousness the idea that testing is a bad thing, and that means nuclear weapons is a bad thing, so it's helping to raise awareness. And in addition, after Fukushima, the, you know, there was radiation going all around the world, and, uh, and your monitoring stations were among the best and the first places where we found out anything about the state of uh, what's happening with the radiation. So you are also doing that kind of very important contribution. I think the biggest uh, obstacle is that there is a group of people or companies, there are people who are making a lot of money from testing and development of nuclear weapons and they don't want to lose that money, so they are providing this opposition. If we can overcome this opposition, then that is a very important thing. The only way I think we can overcome it is to just raise consciousness around the world that nuclear weapons are unacceptable. Uh, I recently went to Kazakhstan, and then there I went to the city of Simi, and I went to the former test site, and I was, you know, shown things that really shocked me, and I could see how horrible the effects of this radiation and the testing have been. There are many people still suffering now because of that, and I just was so uh, confirmed in my belief that human beings have done something very, very foolish here. We have released this, this stuff, and uh, so, uh, and I feel like this is, uh, of course, we don't want to have a nuclear war, but we also must not have any more nuclear tests.
I know from experience that even very young people are quite capable of understanding the basics about peace and uh, the, the problem of nuclear weapons. And so we have a, a peace education in the city and we are teaching children the importance of getting along with people who think differently from them. And then in addition, of course, we talk about what happened in Nagasaki, and we do that year after year after year so that they really get un uh, a deep understanding or a deep feeling that you know, peace is the way to go. And we intend to continue this peace education program. Uh, I'd like to give two examples. One is that in Nagasaki, we had uh, high school kids start their own project to collect signatures. They thought of this by themselves, they wrote their own demands, and then they began collecting signatures. There was a survey done nationwide getting opinions from uh, elementary and junior high school children. And one of the questions was, do you want to grow up to be someone who helps humankind? And the, uh, the percentage of young children who say yes to that was highest in Nagasaki Prefecture. There are still a lot of people around the world who don't know even basic things about what happened to Hiroshima and Nagasaki. A lot of people think that a nuclear bomb is just a big bomb, just a stronger bomb. They don't understand the extraordinary, it's just a qualitative difference and they don't understand that. And so uh, we now have 5,000 cities in Mayors for Peace. And to celebrate that, we are going to try to have all 5,000 of our cities do A-bomb exhibitions. And, and what we're trying to do is create a movement so that we don't have to just go around doing this ourselves and we don't have to ask them to do it. People will come to us and want to do it. We want activists in all of these cities to want to do A-bomb exhibitions and to have it be something that, you know, we haven't done one in our city yet, we should do it, you know, we, we want to have it be a, a popular thing to do, that really uh, affect the society. Thank you.